Hi, Kingdom Kids. It's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let's keep learning from our lesson series called Bake Sale. And it's all about leadership. The word bake will help us remember four things we need to be a leader. And we are going to learn from four judges in the Bible. The judges were people that God chose to lead his people. We learn about Ahid and Deborah, and we learn that to be a leader, we need to be brave and we need to take action. Our Bible story today is from Judges chapters 6 through 7. This is the story of Gideon. You can pause this video and read from your Bible or your Bible app, or you can keep on watching. We are reading from the Beginner's Bible, Gideon's Battle, from Judges chapters 6 through 7. God's people kept disobeying His rules, so God allowed their enemies to take all their food away. Again, the Israelites turned to God for help. Again, God answered their prayers. God chose a man named Gideon to help his people. God sent an angel to Gideon. You are a mighty warrior, said the angel. You will save God's people. Gideon said, But I'm from a family that isn't rich or important. Then Gideon prayed to God, I need a sign from you. I will put some wool on the floor. Tomorrow, if the wool is wet and the ground is dry, I will believe you. The next morning, the wool was wet and the ground was dry. But Gideon wanted another sign. He said to God, Now, if the wool is dry and the ground is wet, I will be sure you have chosen me. The next morning, God made the wool dry and the ground wet. Now Gideon was sure. He said, God, I will do whatever you say. Over 30,000 men wanted to join Gideon's army. That is too many, God said. He showed Gideon how to win with only 300 men. The plan sounded strange, but Gideon trusted God. During the night, Gideon and his men surrounded the enemy camp. They blew trumpets and smashed clay jars. They waved burning torches in the air. Their enemies were frightened. This must be a huge army, they thought. So they ran away. God's people won. Gideon was the least of the least. That means his family was the weakest group in the tribe of Manasseh. And Gideon was the least important member of his family. When God told Gideon to be a leader, Gideon needed proof that it really was God's plan. Gideon asked God for signs that God wanted him to be a leader, and God gave it to him. God gave Gideon signs to help him be very, very sure that he was supposed to be a judge. He was supposed to be a leader of God's people. That's how Gideon knew that he was a leader. Gideon was timid. He wasn't bold and he wasn't excited to be a leader. He was unsure. He wasn't sure about it. But once he really, really knew that it was God's plan for him to be a leader, he did it. He became a leader that listened to God and did what God wanted him to do. Even when 
God kept making Gideon's army smaller and smaller and smaller. Gideon knew that God was with him and God would help him be a good leader. To be a leader, we need to know God is with us and God will help us be a good leader. Our Bible memory verse tells us how to be a leader. It says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 I'm going to take away some of those words. See if you can fill in the blanks. Go for it. Good job! The Bible tells us not to let being young stop us, stop you from being an example to other people. That means it doesn't matter how old you are, you can be a good leader. To be a good leader, you need to know that God is with you and God will help you even if you're shy or even if you don't have a lot of resources how did gideon know all that how did gideon know that god was with him helping him god gave gideon signs that he's meant to be a leader does god give us signs think of all the times that god has helped you maybe god healed you when you were sick maybe um, god gave you courage when you were scared maybe god helped you make new friends and maybe god answered your prayer those are his signs those are signs from god that he really is with us and we know from the bible that God wants us to be good leaders by being good examples to other people in what we say and do. Can you do that? Can you be a leader and know that God is with you, helping you? Our lesson series is called Bake Sale. The letter B stands for brave. The letter A stands for action, and the letter K stands for no. To be a leader, we need to be brave, we need to take action, and we need to know that God is with us, helping us. This lesson series is also called Bake Sale because in our Kingdom Kids, we are going to have a bake sale. Our kids are raising money for missionaries around the world. And they are taking the lead in planning the bake sale, making the food, and selling it. Will you take the bake sale challenge? Take the lead in raising money for people who need it. Be a leader. Be brave. Take action. And know that God is with you helping you. Will you connect with us online on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube? We are at HICC Kingdom Kids. And please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let's pray together. God, thank you for being with us and helping us be good leaders. When we're shy and when we don't have a lot of resources, Please help us remember that you give us strength and you provide for all our needs. 
we know that you are a good, good God, and you are helping us be good leaders. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, to be a leader, we need to be brave, we need to take action, and we need to know that God is with us, helping us. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you online. God bless.